this episode of Grassroots Garage, we have Jerry's Mazda 323 running a 13B turbo. You'll remember Jerry from that time we got to go out cruising in Savannah. Since then, we've featured footage as often as we can of Savannah tearing up the track. <laughs> Savannah was a crowd favourite cutting laps at Revival. And with Telly behind the wheel, you know there's going to be some RPM involved. Jerry's 323 has that iconic 13B wrap and a great car to drive to the beach or to pick up lunches for the boys. This tough little street car was tuned by Joe at Gas Racing. but we've got another cracking little rotary from RP Motorsports. It's Jerry's car. Jerry, thanks for your time, man. G'day, Pete. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, good, good. good. Tell us about this one. Um, little 323, 13-beat um, turbo, uh, manual. So we stayed with a old-school sort of setup. Uh, TF4Z, all old-school sort of stuff. Pump fuel, old Bosch 044s in it. Um, yeah, just a little, little cruiser more for the just the boys to go grab some lunch and you know is that what this is, is this like the... pretty much yeah so let the boys go mad with it and play with it and get it all going and yeah i love that that's it i love that well, vl turbo rear diff yep uh locker in it would that be shortened or be yeah okay. shortened yeah it's the same thing i got that oh, second hand off someone we just changed the uh, center in it nice uh gearbox is um from kev at south coast it's uh, like a Hilux sort of box with one of his one-piece bell housings, direct clutch. Uh, it's got the short shifter on there, so it fit, fit pretty well. And you can tell it's like an actual like shop car. You've got the stereo in there, like you've done a stereo install. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Actually, I haven't touched anything on the interior. That's, that's how we got it, and that's nice. how I've left it. Yep. Um, yeah, change the wheels, put a set of globes on there. Russell Coit loves it, and I've got to give a shout out to Stipe. Yep. My good mate at SM Towen. Nice. Hey, you did a battery in the boot as well? Is that just a space thing, or is that? Yeah, we did that, yeah, because it was in the engine bay. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, when we, when we first got it, so yeah, get out of the way. That it is. So, this is all built in house? Um, we've done all the, um, our fab guy sort of comes in a few days a week, so that's stars at BBS Fab, uh, whenever we need him. So we already had the motor, um, turbo, manifold, catch cam was off an old car of ours, uh, radiator we had, so pretty much mounted it, uh, fabbed up, you know, cooler piping and stuff like that, mounted the cooler and yeah, it was pretty, pretty straightforward actually. It looks, it just looks like it was meant to be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks awesome. Yeah, it fits pretty well. What's this turbo? It's an old school TO4Z. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. To keep with that 90s feel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Perfect, man. Yeah, so I think the biggest bit of tech in it is the uh, Microtech dash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Love that.
So um, let's go. Let's go right back to get started. I want to go right back to to where it all came from. Give us a couple of your favourite rotary memories from when you were a kid. Uh, my first memory was one of my brother's RX3 coupes. Um, we had a lime, old lime green thing with, I think it had XB GT vents, uh, bonnet vents, but on the rear quarters. Yeah, looked really out there sort of thing. But yeah, that's, that's my first memory. Um, and then I grew up with um, uh, Pete Palekas, who owns uh, Archie's Takeaway um, he had Hypo RX mm -hmm. back then and yeah all those old pack cars and Maztec and um, Bill Nabum and Rotomaster all those you know all those real old school sort of um, manual cars Freaky, Stuart yeah, yeah, yeah all those yeah. sort of things yeah yeah. Um, yeah so they're a bit different now obviously a lot more tech but we wanted to sort of go back to those sort of Old days school. with this, yeah. yeah this, this feels real, real nineties, and these are the cars that just, I just love them. I just think they're, they're the best. We were talking before about they used to take, they used to smooth everything out, take off badges, you know, clean everything. Yeah, out. yeah. yeah we're going back to just, yeah, you know, yeah. Everyone's going back to original interiors and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I used to chuck them out and put Recaros in, and first thing you did, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, get, I'm getting old, so I do like a comfortable seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of lumbar support. So let's just say, let's just say I've walked in here and, and, and I've just thrown a bucket of cash on the floor. Would you leave this or would you, would you do it up? What would you do? Um, maybe a bit of a mini tub, I suppose. Get a bigger tyre under it. Because mm -hmm. um, they're, only, they're only little 15s, I think 185s or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's got got about 450 horsepower um so yeah it sort of shreds them pretty quickly yeah so yeah maybe a bigger tire but other than that yeah it's just a it's not a show car or anything it's sort of pre presents well mm. um i actually got it off my mate shane uh shout out shane happy days from from newey yeah. um so yeah uh can't wait to give him a, a go in it because i said once it's done you can go take it for a thrash so was it a rotary was it a rotary car when you got it? No, nah, it was a piston engine. Nice. Yeah. And they are, they're, they're rear wheel drive. Yeah, cars. yeah. Yeah, nice, yeah. I think firewall forward, it's all pretty much similar to 808 RX3. Oh, yeah. So, right. and that's the reason why we got this, because I didn't want to go spend 30, 40 grand on an 808. Um, had the motor there, had turbo, manifold, um, catch cans, fuel setup. So it was pretty easy to mm. sort of get going. And it's very interesting to me that the front end on this looks like the front wheel drive front ends of the next generation. Yeah, three yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know? so yeah. If you don't know, you don't know. Do yeah, you? I think the plates give it away, but. Well, I want to talk about that. Give me, how long have you owned those plates? Um, ooh, probably about. I think I got them in '99 or 2000. <laughs> yeah. And how did you come across them? In because they would have been they would have been a desirable plate forever, right? Yeah, well, I th back then you used to, obviously there was no um, service New South Wales websites and stuff where you can check plates. Mm -hmm. So you used to have to ring up or go in. Mm -hmm. And I rang up one day and I said, oh, is this plate available? And they go, no, nah, it's, it's um, expires or it's expired or something and it's been on hold and it's available in like three months. So I was like, three months of the day I rang up. Yeah. Is it available? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Got it, yeah. Oh. So, um, yeah, because I'd always, I don't know why, I always sort of just wanted that plate. Mm. Um, had a few other ones here and there, but my old man used to do, uh, and my uncle used to get number plates and, and sell them back in the day. So, um, yeah, I used to sort of do a little bit of that, you know, as a young little spring chicken. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I was hunting for plates and yeah, we got it and yeah, it's been on many different cars. Had it on a WRX once. Just to annoy people? Because uh, I didn't want to pay to put them in storage. Yeah, so display them. Yeah, so I used to go on the old Oz Rotary. Uh, on, they used to have a spotted thread and yeah. it was like, I saw this dickhead in a WRX with rotary plates. So I was like, yeah, what a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably, we'll probably find that thread and like tracks on commenting, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. Because I see a lot of like trucks, like YLD20B, you know, mm. Easy 10s, you yeah. know, like 
you just don't want to put them in storage, you know? Yeah, like, I wonder what they've got in the garage, you know? Like, you see it a lot. Um, so have, how, give me some numbers. Have you been offered cash for the plates? Um, yeah, I like I've been offered and I've always said no sort of thing, but one day I got pulled up by a older guy. Um, I was parking, I can't remember where, but anyway, I was parking it up and he was sort of looking at me a bit funny. I thought, oh shit, he's going to say something about the noise or whatnot. Uh, I was on my old silver um, sedan and he goes, oh, you're a member of the Rotary Club? And I said, yeah, I'm in Oz Rotary and stuff. And he goes, no, no, the Rotary, um, like the service. Uh, Rotary, are you? Yeah. Do you remember that men's club? <laughs> um, and I said, nah. And he goes, oh, do you want to sell them? And I think he offered me five grand or something, which mm. was sort of pretty good because mm. that was like, you know, 2002 maybe. Um, but I said, nah. But yeah, I suppose, yeah, they're more sort of sentimental mm. to me, sort of thing. So yeah. Not for sale. Nah. Because nah. I, went, I went out to uh, Orange to a car meet out there and a, a bloke rolled in in a blue old school and the guys in Orange are all like, yeah, of course, we know him. And he had hot rod number plates. Yeah. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah, hot yeah. rod number plates? How yeah. did he get these? these? He's been displaying them since, since you know, the, the 80s. He's had yeah. these plates on his hot rod. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. But I'm, I'm losing it on these number plates. Yeah. yeah. So, sorry, mate, you kicked off. I was going to say, they're like, people know you for them, like, Telly with Savannah and you know what I mean? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, um, uh, so tell us about some cars you've been working on lately. What's one of your, one of your memorable cars that's come out lately? Um, got a few Evo 10s that have come out lately. Um, finishing off a 350Z, which is going to be pretty nice to build. Um, NA motor um, with a Gen V intake. Uh, Link ECU, so it should be pretty angry, like mm. big job sort of NA, um, and just yeah the Evos and yeah, mm. um, yeah. Love it. I'm loving it. Uh, let's just say that um, you've 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 finished this off, tied it up, just leaving it as a shop car. Uh, you've got an unlimited budget. Give me a couple of cars you'd put in your garage. I'd love an old XJ 5.3 Jag. Yeah. V12, um, twin turbo. Uh, my old man had one British racing green mm -hmm. back in the day uh, with a black hard top. So I've always loved that sort of shape mm -hmm. and a bit different. You don't really see them. Um, so yeah, one of them would be cool. Um, and I don't know. Maybe a, maybe like a 20 being this. Yeah? Yeah. Tub, tub it out and make it wheel stand or something? Nah, we'll <laughs> yeah. keep it like it is, like, Street you know, yeah, yeah, a bit undercover. So we were just chatting about car history, and if you could have one back, which one would you want back? That's it for Jerry's beautiful little car. Jerry, thanks for your time, man. Thanks, mate. Legend.